Microsoft PowerPoint creating a presentation using the Auto Content Wizard. I'm going to launch PowerPoint by clicking the button that I have here in my quick launch bar and I come to a blank presentation. Now I'd like to go a little bit more advanced than that and I want to create a presentation that already contains formatting. The task pane here, if I move down to this little arrow, it'll start scrolling through and it shows me the last th three presentations that we've worked on, allows me to open more presentations that are on my computer, or allows me to create a new presentation. Now that's one way to create a new presentation. Another way is to move up to File in the menu bar, click it, and then click on the New option here. They're the two that give you a very similar result. The other option, of course, is to click on this button in our standard toolbar. Now, by clicking on this, it'll simply give me a blank presentation like I already have. So the option I'm going to choose is File and then New. Now before I do, I just want you to watch this screen here, the task pane. Watch what happens in here when I choose the New option. Okay, I'm about to click it now. It's changed. We have New Presentation as the title and here are our options. The first three is what I'm mainly concerned about. Blank presentation is something that we already had. From design template is a good choice, but to create something professional very quickly, the best choice at this stage is using the auto content wizard. So I'm going to click it. The office assistant asks if we want some help and I'm simply going to say thank you, but no. And we're left with our auto content wizard, which will take us through three simple steps. Presentation type, presentation style, and options. So I'll simply click next to progress through the options. The first one asks you what type of presentation. Now currently general is selected, and here are the options. They're fantastic options if you're not sure how you want to structure your presentation. If I go corporate, we have business plan, company meeting, etc. Projects, sales and marketing, and if I want to see all of them, I simply click the All button, and they're all presented there in a list. In a list. Now the option I want is a business plan. Now that's also covered under corporate. There it is business plan. So I'll select it and then I'll progress to the next stage. The type of presentation. I'd like an on-screen presentation but notice you can do overheads, slides and even a web-based presentation. So I'll leave on-screen presentation as the selected option and I'll click Next. Now I can give the presentation a title and a footer and I can check these options if I want to see them on the slide and I'll leave them ticked so that we can see what it does. I'll click in the presentation title field and I'll simply type in easy rate water cooler presentation. In the footer I'll type in presented by me. And then I'll click Next. That's the end of the wizard and I'll click Finish. Very quickly we have a professional looking background design and there's the content of our slideshow presentation. And I could start running the slideshow straight away by pressing F5 and each time I click it'll take me through from slide to slide. I'll press Escape just to jump out of it and that's how easy it is to create a professional looking presentation in a very short amount of time.